cousin. What's poppin'? What's up, cousin? What's up, baby? What's up, Virgo? What's poppin' between the 1st and the 15th of November for the sign of Virgo? Hmm. Hmm. Are y'all closing karmic cycles? Some of y'all kicking and screaming. Hmm. Hmm. It's time to put your big girl drawers on. Who ready to put their big girl drawers on? Who ready to take off them damn tidy whities and fling them across the room? Okay, it's time to put your your big dog drawers on, right? <laughs> I can't take myself seriously. I know I play too much. Look out! Hey, boo, hey, this is your first time viewing my channel. Hey, I'm Mocha. Also, if this is your first time viewing my channel, look out! I make cuss a little. I make cuss a lot. I'm a realist first okay but you know i'm gonna cuss so if cussing is not for you you can go find another one of these beautiful readers on youtube they they resonate i know the i know um <laughs> this is not a personal it's a general if you need a personal that information can be found within the description okay um and also i currently have a special on my personal readings if you get a 30 45 minute or a 60 minute reading please deduct 15 dollars off the listed price until the first of november okay so that's when it ends so get your sale in all right moving on um all of my new subscribers welcome to the family y'all we don't fight we don't fuss we leave that shit on other people's channel but you know we do love we share we grow we enlighten we don't judge it's positive vibes only because everybody got to go through some shit to really be able to understand and enlighten another person on some shit this is a journey for me as well and this Taurus full moon honey did not come to play but to slay hunter's moon what is it honey you ask your fears your doubts it's the purge the purging of the things within and if can't nobody feel me <laughs> cousin <laughs> you feel me so that said this will be for my sun moon rising venus as well as the cross watchers for the sign of vertigo let's get it between the first and the 15th of november all right so the first message comes from hope pause i've been uh going through some changes spiritually and so now when I meditate, not only did I shift completely switch my meditation game up as well as the what I meditate to, um, I can talk to Virgos about step ins and things of that nature. Um, I've really been embracing my goddess energy and a lot of your eyes are working differently. So with that said, a lot of y'all can actually feel me. Um, you guys this is a time when you got to get out of nature, especially for Virgo. You guys bring the wisdom substance to the world. So with that said, you need to really, really, really get in tune with all four elements. And that's with fire, water, your own element, and being 100% grounded within it, and um, air. Okay, so you need to be outside during this time. I know weather's switching up. But some of you all, your gifts work differently. And I feel like if you just allow yourself to really just get out your damn head about the wrong things and shit that don't serve you, to shit that surface shit, you know, you can truly see what spirit is really trying to give you it. Many a call if you, if you were chosen. Okay. So we rocking. With that said, my intuitive messages with meditating on Virgo, what's been going on is that I'll literally like start meditating and my crown chakra will begin to like it feels like a like somebody put some damn vapor rub or something in my head I guess that's the feeling it's like a it's a particular so I know and then my ears begin to ring I'm clear audience so my ears begin to sound like a fax machine and I begin to write and annoyingly I write a lot of things down and if I come back up with something that my heart speaks or that I hear, I write it down. You guys feel my fucking page up, okay? So it's time to get busy. Let's talk to some souls. It's time to heal. All right. So what I got for Virgo intuitively was depression, indecision, stagnancy, releasing, renewing, choices, wrath, abandonment, structure, past life, karmic, sex magic. Yeah, we going deep. Break free, comfort, bounded, emotionally manipulative, dark magic, kidneys, health, lack, narcissism, freedom, twin soul, full moon, karmic, divine love, hereditary, it says hereditary karma actually, obsession, stalking, paternity, 
mother, judgment, children, broken, toxic. I even got some damn zodiac signs, y'all. So if you have not been listening to to what Spirit is saying, they really trying to get your attention. I got Aquarius, Taurus, Scorpio, Sagittarius, Leo, Gemini. I do know um, it says, oh, I'm sorry. I have physical abuse and I also had gotten shifts. So with the shifts, there are major shifts happening. Some of you all, again, like I told you, be kicking and screaming. You know, you know, you have to change your very intuitive. You know what is it, what it is that needs to be changed. However, you don't want to see the other side and you just can't dare, dare stand the sight of you not being able to control the situation. And Spirit is trying to show you. God won't God's job back, honey. You cannot control everything, okay? And so, I know with this full moon in Taurus, um, it's going to affect you guys' this ninth house. So, you guys will look at, you You. You may get in this space because I keep hearing new cars. Somebody could be getting a new car or want a new car. But you may get in this space, um, the black one, whoever that new car was for, this, the, the, the black one, it's an SUV. Um, <clears throat> newness in all aspects, okay? Um, it's having to do with travel. It's having to do with, you know, trying new things, cultural things, being open to newness and not being afraid to take that leap of faith of, of not knowing what's on the other side. You guys came to bring the beauty to things and to turn things around. You hear that damn train? <laughs> all aboard. Let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. All right, so let's move into your um, your angel messages. The first message comes from the Crystal Angels Oracle deck by Doreen Virtue. The message that you guys got was turquoise. Y'all know I don't misconstrue these angel messages. I read them as is. When the angels want to speak, <laughs> I let them. All right, so the message that you guys got was spiritual path. Your true beliefs are becoming clear to you which prompts you to make the necessary life changes. They go, they're kicking and screaming. A lot of you all are kicking and screaming. I know I want it, I want it, but no, 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 no. I don't want to let that go. I don't want to let them go. I don't want to let that go. I don't want No, no, no. I got to I gotta fix everybody else's problems. No, 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 no. Hermit mode. Honey button. This card comes to you because you've been praying and meditating about your spiritual path. You may be feeling conflicts with your true beliefs, wondering whether to take a traditional or alternative route. Stop worrying about what the hell people say, Virgo. Stop worrying about what the hell people say, Virgo. Stay with me now. Did you hear me in the back? Stop worrying about it. what people say, Virgo. Perhaps you've been studying or attending different religious or spiritual groups, trying to see where you fit in and find other people aligned with your values. Religious upbringing and family culture factors are here. While you would like to make your spiritual path decisions independently, you find yourself being influenced by your past. You also want to make the right choice that is best for your soul, and you do recognize that some traditional beliefs have merit. Even when people have the same religious faith, they have different interpretations. It's unlikely that two individuals agree on every aspect of religion or spirituality because it's deeply a personal experience. Your life lessons continue to shape your beliefs. So keep praying and following your guidance. Your guidance. Your guidance. <laughs> Finding people who have similar or complementary beliefs, even if they're not identical, can lead to deep friendships and help you navigate your own spiritual path. This card can also be about a relationship that is experiencing conflicts because partners have different religious or spiritual convictions. This is a different, I'm sorry, this is a challenging situation for both people and it needs to be handled with prayer and often counseling, okay? And so I'm going to be honest with you. You got to start worrying about how everybody else is going to feel. A lot of you guys' eyes are working different. You think you're crazy as hell. You think you're batshit. This is for my new awakening to it. It's new family. Hey, boo, welcome to the journey. You ain't crazy. There's nothing wrong with you. Okay, some of you all, y'all, the veil, what veil? Okay, I, I've been saying the veil is thin, the veil, what veil? Okay, the veil has been lifted. You, you you can no longer not see people for who they are anymore. Some of you guys may look at your partner uh, and, and straight up just see 
evil. Evil. And I feel like you love this person here on this worldly in, in this worldly realm. But I feel like some of you all may be having dreams about this person hurting you. Okay, I feel like some of you all who are not receiving Spirit's message and what Spirit is trying to say on the surface while you're awake, they're definitely showing you in your dreams when your subconscious is able to be free. Some of you all are learning that you can astral travel and you have a duty to you have a duty to attend to in other dimensions. You are transmutable, you're mutable energy. You travel. You're a traveler. And during this time, a lot of you guys are going to want to are going to want to know more about that. Some of you all, this new beginning, this new, some of you all just really, really want that traditional marriage. And Spirit is saying that new beginning that you want, baby, change stuff. If you want change, you got to be the change in which you're willing. You got to be able to be the change in which you're expecting. You get what I'm saying? So with that said, I feel a strong sense of something new is trying to be born within you. Some of you all are having new children. And I feel like you're looking back on the past, okay? And I feel like you're looking back on the past. And honestly, history is just simply rewriting itself right now. A lot of you all, if you look exactly where you were last time during this year, you're going to find like, damn, stop holding on to that shit. You've been here before. You know how to win the war. You understand? Stop. But you, 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 it's you against yourself, but you hold on to things remorsefully and having that fear and being afraid to move forward there's a strong sense of forgiveness somebody got some heavy shit in their heart whether this is you or someone else Virgo but I feel like I'm talking to some of my Virgos on a situation that they couldn't control in the past I'm hearing the number three it could have been three months ago three years ago but I feel like baby the change that you're expecting for someone to give you understand that that's going to come from yourself Understand that you're really needing to embrace and love yourself and fear, fearlessly and not be worried about who don't, who ain't going to love you no more or who ain't going to. That's not let God do God's job. Love. True love. The selfless. It is unconditional. It is not trying to change another person. Yet accept the fact. That that person is who they are for their light, for their darkness. It's for you to be accepting, not allowing their bullshit, still setting healthy boundaries, but accepting to the fact that that's who you chose to love. And sometimes you got to love a person enough, and this is vice versa in your energy because y'all got some interesting people in your energy. To let them go and be willing to put that love that you expected from that person put that same energy into your motherfucking self some of you all some of you all thank you spirit thank you for pointing the finger where it go because folks being denial spirit don't lie some of you all are learning dark magic during this time and I feel like these are my young, um, these are my younger intuitives and my younger mystics. I feel like you're learning, you're trying to keep someone. I'm going to be honest with you, you better stop. Because you will reap what you sow, the baby. Stop it. Also, some of you all need to cross a big body of water because somebody has been... <sighs> Feeling more earth energy on this, a little bit of fire. Some of y'all are dealing with um, I'm hearing Sagittarius, Leo, Taurus. Some of y'all are dealing with somebody who is performing sex magic on you. If you feel ultimately tired, especially this is someone who don't want you to go to work or like they don't want you to leave them. And so it's like they won't they won't want to have sex like on the regular, but it's like under particular like full moons and new moons, y'all sex is a bit different and it's kind of like animalistic different. And you know, it's they're 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 telling you not to get stuck in the passion, but truly do some research on it and truly go back and reflect, look back over some things and, and truly because I'm talking to somebody who Baby, you in a spiritual warfare, you under bondage. And I feel like this is why your heart and your mind is not 
there's a conflict there. Your heart and your mind has a conflict there because you have, there's energies trying to be um, manipulated. And this hunter's moon, if you recently turn this person down between this, like between this 24th and the 26th, it got to the point where this person could have like recently physically like hit you or abused you because you didn't want. Some of y'all are finding out about magic. Some of you all will be. Some of you all um, are going to be finding needing to, to needing to research how to protect yourself from dark magic if you're dealing with those signs I named. Especially if you know these uh, the person that you're dealing with has a family within that. Um, mm. Some of y'all dealing with people who got family um, who practiced voodoo in the past for like dark purposes. I feel like nobody intentionally taught them how. This was just you had a you be dealing with the inspector gadget of the bunch. <laughs> some of you all are really, really, really needing to love yourself better. Some of you all may be learning some truth during this time to make you put your addictions down. Some of you all, the person who find out they're pregnant, some of y'all gonna have an unexpected pregnancy, and this is for someone who actually had um you have some type of like bronchitis or like as asthma or something with the throat, but you won't stop smoking cigarettes. But you love children, and I feel like you thought you couldn't have any because it had been so long, but the maids work just fine. You got to be willing to give up something, baby, and accept your blessing. Local love to kids. Congratulations. Some of y'all haven't found it. Whoever I'm talking to, I'm talking to a few people who know. There's somebody who don't know, and this is why this is happening. So get out of your head about it. It's a blessing, not a burden. Some of you all may be um, seeing white birds during this time or white butterflies. Some of you all may receive a major download near some purple flowers. For those of you who have some type of like lavender flowers near your home, I feel like it's when the when the leaves actually start changing colors. For some of you all, you're needing to go outside and meditate. Spirit is calling you outside to meditate. I feel like you're going to have a massive download, but it's going to bring you in into peace. A mode of peace within the self. Some of you all may be seeing birds. Birds are your um, birds and butterflies. White birds, to be specific, and frogs. Some of you all need to see the abundance that you have around. You need to really be grateful for your circumstances that you are blessed with. Because I feel like there's someone around who's extremely abundant. I'm speaking of someone very abundant. This could even be someone in your energy, and they just make you feel like you ain't, you don't have anything, so you've just chosen to believe that. But Spirit wants you to know that you're extremely abundant. Y'all third eye is booming. When you guys are in nature, you, you're you going to have a lot of aha moments in nature. Spirit is really going to move a lot. You need to get outside more. Some of you are... Um, I'm possibly going to receive a massive download while sitting near some, I don't know, flowers real well, y'all. Yellow and pink flowers. Also lavender. Light blue. Those frogs that you're seeing during this time, they're, they're symbolizing abundance, prosperity. For some of you all, a, a shift in your health or positive. Some of you all have just been waiting on some type of information to come in in order to stabilize something, stabilize pretty much help you to stabilize your feelings internally some of you all are really 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 you you, you wanting to move forward you wanting to free yourself but you're really worried internally about finances you need to clear that lack mindset so the spirit can show you just how they move some of you all are addicted to overgiving you're addicted to giving to people so when people draw back or they're like you lose yourself in losing people, but spirit is pulling you in this solitude mode because to be honest with you, some of you all could possibly be staying with someone every time I feel like some of y'all are in a physical abusive relationship. I'm gonna go and say it and every time this person does something to you, they give you something. Spirit is saying you need to have faith because God has more. Spirit has more and you more than protected. You have abundance. You need to see that. See that for yourself. Some of you all, you may be receiving gifts from people during this time. Don't be prideful. Be accepting. 
and trust the God that moves within people. Okay? For some of you all, you need to make a choice to choose your integrity out of a situation. I feel like you need to make a choice, an integral choice, because it has something to do with the past life soul contract. With this Venus being in Scorpio, it's Pluto energy, past life, karmic, 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 hereditary cycles. You're breaking cycles. Some of you all came here during this time to live this life to break karmic cycles. For some of you all, you're going to receive information about custody of your children. Where did it come from? The custody of your children. The justice is in your favor with that. You're going to get your children, but you need them to change your ways. This is a wake up call. God give it and God can take it away. For some of you all during this time, <clears throat> I'm sorry, I'm put this down. Some of you all are really needing to move away. For some of you all, it's possibly from a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. I feel like there's, you're going to find out, you're going to be moving away from a water sign due to some type of like deceptive behavior. This person could even been, if this is a friend, this is somebody who you could have, you could you could have love for this person. I feel like you could have even sacrificed something for this person in the past and you're going to find out that they talk, talk your business behind your back or talk about you. This could be family or friends. Um... But some of you all are definitely going to be moving away from offering your love to somebody who just is like a habitual liar and a habitual cheater. They're very emotionally manipulative. Some of you all, in order to get your wish, in order to get that nine of cups, what it is that you're trying to manifest, you need to cut off possibly an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I'm hearing Aquarius. And for some of you all, it's a Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. I feel like this person... Some of y'all could also be uh, having some sharp communication with um, your daughter during this time, especially if you have a Capricorn towards Virgo daughter. But I feel like this person can be very nasty sometimes. And I feel like you always save the day. And it seems like this person that will come back and say, you ain't never did shit for me. And it's really and I feel like that, that this person knows what they're doing. They know that that strikes you emotionally. And some of y'all really needed to take y'all power back and really set strong boundaries. Some of you all are really moving again. They go that new, new. Some of you all are truly, truly, truly moving toward newness, okay? Some of you all, your nine of cups lies within the Leo. But some of you all, you have a Leo that is a twin flame or a divine soul, twin soul partner to you, or divine um, a divine union for you, okay? This person could be a past life, past life partner. Some of you all... You have a new relationship with the Capricorn towards Virgo, or you will actually be cutting somebody out, possibly cutting off the air sign and moving towards the earth sign who is financially stable, okay? And I feel like if you ha you ha you're needing to have faith and trust the God that lives within you because they're bringing you back to a place of harmony. And for some of you all, if you have a decision to make between two past life partners, someone who is a possibly a Leo, someone who could possibly be a Taurus. Um, and I feel like the indecision was part of a past life karmic, karmic, um, karmic blockage too. Some of you all, y'all gonna get that new job. You better go get go go get the money. Go get the money. <laughs> go get the money. Go get the money. Hey, y'all better go get it, okay? But some of you all who've been thinking about owning your own business, I feel like especially if you just went through a, a massive breakup, know that the spirit is saying that was your blessing, not a, that was a yo that was a you blessing, not a y'all blessing. Say thank you. Gratefulness brings in greatness, baby. The more you say thank you, the more you receive. It's the universe way of saying, oh, oh, keep, keep that same energy. For some of you all, yeah, you are going to be receiving some new type of financial opportunity. This could be um, some of you all I'm hearing financial blessing. Some of you all need to literally play raffles and things of the nature during this time. Lady Luck is on your side. You a lucky, you a lucky book. <laughs> Some of you all are going to uh, experience a massive financial blessing after walking away from something, okay? But some of you all, um, you're wanting to start new or move towards um, a Scorpio, and some of you all, you're finally going to get that. Um, you're finally going to get that engagement possibly from a Scorpio as well. Some of y'all could possibly um, be moving in or get an offer to move in. Possibly from a uh, earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Some of y'all are walking away from an Aries. 
Some of y'all are walking away from trying to control every damn thing, too, and just allowing spirit, allowing God to do God's job because things happen the way that they're supposed to, not the way that you always want them to. Some of you all are moving away from someone due to there not being an equal balance. There's not an equal give and take. I give, 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 and you don't give me shit. You can't even, you don't even think about it. You don't even ask them, I okay, how my day was. Some of y'all are moving away from the intensity. Some of y'all are transforming possibly with an Aries. Some of you guys could actually be, uh, if you were having disputes with your Aries, know that this person, you and this person are both going through a transformation that's actually going to bring something beautiful, um, beautiful uh, to the surface, baby. It's going to be something beautiful is going to materialize during this time. What's going on? Why can't I fucking talk? I was just fine. And y'all, some of y'all need to really speak up and really speak how you feel, genuinely how you feel, spill, how you feel. Some of you all, um, some of you all have a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Some of y'all are going to find out that this person could be like using you for finances or use this person. There's going to be some type of wake up call to somebody. Yeah. Somebody is a smooth talker. Somebody's a finesse. This could be, um, this could even be that Aries person, okay? But I do see some of y'all are going to cut, if some of y'all are going to communicate with an Aries, I'm just, I'm, I'm walking away from this shit because you don't equally give, you know, there's not an equal give and take. But some of y'all, you're dealing with an Aries who possibly feels this way they could be uh, receiving that communication from them. Some of y'all are having, some of y'all are going to be having like drastic endings, okay? Like, I feel like if you were getting nudges from spirit to, release something, someone, release someone from your energy, okay, I feel like they're going to bring that balance in voluntarily, yeah, definitely, they're going to, you, you, you're kind of being forced to move away during this time towards that balance, towards that newness, okay, a lot of y'all are in cocoon mode, some of you all could possibly, um, some of you all could possibly be, yeah, some of y'all are dealing with the cherry, say with the cherry, with the cancer, Okay, some of y'all are waiting for someone to come in to have a conversation. It's a well-needed conversation. Some of y'all are going to be receiving news in order to move um, a situation forward. Okay, some type of truth is going to be revealed during this time. And it's going to allow the a, a situation to really transform. Yeah, for some of you all, it could be involving a child, okay? Or this could be involving um, some type of like financial financial blessing or financial information. Some of y'all who are waiting on money to come in, it's coming, baby. But some of you all, you're going to be dealing with the twin flame. Some of y'all could be finding out you're pregnant by a Gemini. Hey. Okay. But I feel like for some of you all, some of you all, once you leave your karmic, you're going to actually deal like you're actually going to be able to move forward towards your twin flame and things are going to be healthy. For some of you, you've been trying to man manifest your twin flame. And they coming because I feel like you've been in your damn head knowing that some shit was finna take, knowing, knowing. I feel like someone you've been defensive toward the idea of walking away. You just could not see someone or something walk away. You just kicking and screaming, but spirit is, because of your indecision, it's time to make a choice. Okay? Some of y'all got to choose between a karmic soulmate. And if you choose the karmic, you're going to put yourself back in this damn well, back in this feeling of feeling stuck and stagnant. You're needing to move forward, especially if you're dealing with the Taurus. To be honest with you, I feel like the sign of Taurus, that's the darkness I feel. Some of you all are dealing with the Taurus, and you're noticing that y'all don't really vibrate different during this time. Some of y'all could also be finding out information. Some of y'all could be finding out that you've been caught in the web or caught in, in, in entangled in the situation, possibly with a Taurus. But I feel like spirit have been showing you that you had to move forward. For some of y'all, it's a Gemini. For some of y'all, it's a Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. But I feel like this was a situation that forced you to go into this hermit mode because as soon as you do, then you get your Ace of Cups. Then you get your divine partnership. But you're needing to trust the process. You can't control every damn thing, cousin. You just can't. Okay? Some of y'all are prodigies of third-party situations. Some of y'all could actually be finding out 
about information about your father, especially those in third party situations and there was a baby that came out of it. Again, history is repeating itself. It's about pulling your face out of that dark place and truly, truly, truly seeing the essence and the substance within self because some of y'all finna have to push people to push push people the fuck along and recreate your world yourself and show motherfuckers how to let, let me show you how to get it right. <laughs> Some of y'all could have a defensive fire sign coming in. This person could be very defensive towards you because they know it's judgment time. You have to make a decision. Am I going to allow you to be in and out of my fucking life and continuously having this turbulent ass cycle and allow you to keep mind fucking me? Because shit's got to go. They go that bird. Some of y'all could be literally seeing hawks and eagles in like some of the weirdest places, like places that you know you shouldn't see them. Spirit is trying to let you know you protect the baby girl. You protect the king. You protect it. Because what you want is on the other side, but you can only have it when you choose to walk away from something. For some of you all, you need to make a judgment about an Aquarius. What's going to happen? There's a divine partnership here. There's a twin flame, a twin flame soul union here. But you gotta end something. You gotta give something in order to get something. And for a lot of y'all, y'all finna learn during this time, it's cutoff season. And it ain't for you to feel apologetic. It ain't for you to feel guilty because these people had the same motherfucking opportunities that you had to enlighten you, enlighten themselves and grow and heal and let things go. Some of you all, crown chakra, booming. Booming. Speak your truths and move forward. Do not be afraid because you hold, you hold the key to your own happiness. You hold, you hold, some of y'all holding information, spiritual information that you know already. And you know that you know that you know your crown chakra is on fire. You know that you know that you know. However, you also want to hold things together and try to control things. But to be honest with you, you finna see things a little bit differently. And you're going to stop kicking and screaming and start dancing and hollering and praising. Because some of y'all are literally leaving the devil. I love y'all. And I send y'all so much love, light, abundance, healing, prosperity. Y'all let me know how this resonates. Please comment, like, share. You know, really, 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 baby, I need y'all to heal. And see things differently. See the truth for what it is when it's in your face. Some of y'all got somebody stalking y'all asses. And I feel like it's more so of a partner. Or someone who is interested in your partner. Or a part of your partner's past. A karma. Them skeletons falling out the closet. The closet door broke down. They couldn't hold no more damn skeletons. So y'all stand firm. Stand in your truth. Stand humble. Stand grateful. And keep your eye on the prize, baby. It's time to win. You work too hard. Let it go. And let God. It's cutoff season. Only the strong will survive. I love you, babies. Mwah. Namaste.